Hey, hi, I'm Naval Yamil. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Master. In this video, we are going to explore ER diagrams, that is entity relationship diagrams in Databricks and show you how to build and visualize the relationship between tables, both for new tables as well as for the existing tables. If you have ever wondered how to model data like a pro inside Databricks, this hands-on guide is for you. So first we'll understand what is ER diagram? What is an entity relationship diagram? So an ER diagram is a visual representation of your data. It shows entities that are tables and relationships like how the tables are linked through primary keys and the foreign keys. In this diagram, you can see this is one of my table called as a sales table and you have a other dimension table as a customer table. So customer table is a primary key here and it is making a relationship with the foreign key in the sales table. In the same way, in the products table, product ID is a primary key. It is making a relationship to the product ID in the sales table. So this is called as an ER diagram. So in Databricks, now you can define these relationships and also view the ER diagrams directly in the Catalog Explorer, making it easier to understand your data model and your data lineage. So let me show you how we can start creating a new tables with relationship. I have already written a script. I'll just copy this and I will create a new notebook here. So let me create a new notebook. And okay, cool. I'll just click on create a new notebook. Okay, I'll start the compute. I'll paste the script. So I'll be using a catalog YouTube dev catalog. So I'll use a YouTube dev catalog here. And I'll be using a schema called new schema, uh, maybe default schema. I'll just use a default schema here. And let me try to run this. And here, very simple. So I'm creating a customer's table and the order's table. So while creating a customer table, I have defined a primary key as a customer ID. Even you can add a constraint called primary key just after your field and the data type that's also fine but i have just mentioned here customer table in that customer id is going to have a primary key constraint whereas orders table will have a primary key order id and it is making a relationship with a customer id from the customer table so in the orders table customer id will be a foreign key and that will reference to the customer's table in the customer ID. Very simple, simple SQL. But when it comes to Databricks, we used to have a Databricks as a for uh, analytics, big data and so on. We were not able to create a relationship, but now it is possible. That's what the whole idea is to explain. You can do a ER diagram in this. So I guess my tables are created. I'll show you how to view them. So you can straight away jump on to Catalog Explorer. So I'll just click the onto the new tab, Catalog Explorer. I'll switch to a dev catalog, default one. And in the default, I have uh, orders and the customers. Let me click on the orders table. And here you should see a relationship. The moment you click on or create a order ID or a customer ID with the primary key and the foreign key constraint, you should see this relationship like a button. Just click on it and you should see a table where it shows you the ER diagram. So your customer ID is a foreign key that is referencing it to the primary key in the customer ID. So this is how we can create a ER diagram for the new tables. If you ask me, can we do the same thing for the existing table? Yes, we can do it. So let me show you the script. Yeah, so we are using a alter commands here. We already have a table 
for example we have a sales table customer table and the product table but they were not in relationship the matching column between the sales and the customers is a customer id and the sales and the products is a product id so i've just altered it alter table sales table i'm adding a constraint called constraint name the foreign key in the sales table is customer id that will be referencing to the customers table and the column name is customer id so very simple simple sql this will help you to add a constraint or create a er diagram for the existing tables so similarly i have added a foreign key constraint for the product id here customer id here very simple so this will if you go to the catalog explorer and click on that particular table and you can view a relationship just let me show you on this one also let me go to bronze and let me go to silver uh, sorry sales table and here you should see view relationship yes so sales table and that is making a relationship with the customer table and the primary key here is customer id foreign key is also a customer id here and so on so defining a er diagram or er relationship in databricks is important because that ensures the data integrity through primary keys and the foreign keys which simplifies the query writing for analytics and it supports the data governance for better access control and it also improves understanding of data lineage across the tables so that's how you can build and visualize entity relationship diagrams in databricks both with new and the existing table if you found this video helpful please like subscribe and comment below if you want me to cover any other databricks topics in future videos so stay tuned for more hands on tutorial on data engineering analytics and ai thank you for watching again see you in the next video bye bye